What is polygon? Polygon is very simple. We have to take the simple curve. Simple curve means line segment and we make it close. Take the simple curve means take the line segment. So many line segment you take, make it close. That is called polygon. Simple closed curve clo uh, made by line segment that is called polygon. Now polygon will be divided in different category. One of the division is based on the number of sides. Number of sides, if it is three, then it is a triangle. It is four quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon. Finally, infinite side, it will become a circle. Okay. Now in uh, another way, we can uh, just uh, categorize polygon. We know already if sides are equal, then it is a regular polygon. If sides are not equal, irregular polygon. Now how to find the diagonal? This you can learn. This is good. Number of diagonal line segment connecting two non-consecutive vertices. Already I told how to find diagonal like this. Like this is your just uh, a one, two, three, four, five, six. Means one if it other than two and six. This is your this is your consecutive vertices. Not means one will connect with three or one will connect with four or one will connect with five then these three will become the diagonal like this so many diagonals will be there we can't say only three many of the there like six will connect with two that is also diagonal we will connect with three that is also diagonal this will connect with four that is now five five will connect with one already connected it will connect with two it will connect with three now four four is connected with six connected with one connected with two is not connected we can connect with two now all are connected figure looks very good it looks like some tantra mantra type, some one of the best rangoli type, correct? But this is finally, it is just we are showing all the sides and all the diagonals. How many sides will be here? Six sided are there. How many diagonals? Just we'll put total nine diagonals will be there. If you want, you can count three, three. And afterwards, if you will count like this, then it will come 18. Total will become 18 because three are coming out from all the vertices. 6 vertices, 6 into 3, 18. But repetition will be there, 18 by 2, it will become 9. Or different way you can take in uh, PNC way, permutation and combination. Like we have to just pick any of the two vertices out of n vertices and we have to just make n minus. Why n minus? Because if you are just joining 1 and 2, that will not form the diagonal. That will form the side of the polygon. Means out of six vertices, we have picked any two, six C2, six C2 we have picked. Then that, that will give all the diagonals, including side also. Because in these, this selection six C2, it is included selection of one and two also, selection of five and four also together. If you are selecting one and two, then that will not form the diagonal, that will form the side. Then that six number we have to make minus. 6 c2 minus 6 that will come 9 diagonals or otherwise influx outflux method network root you can apply any of the vertices 3 is going out total will become 18 divided by 2 it will become 9 any of the way you will able to understand means one of the hexagon it will be how many variable will be there 6 vertices 6 side 9 diagonal 9 diagonal 6 interior angle 6 exterior angle correct that many variable you have to deal now types of interior angle types of interior angle will become convex and concave what is difference between con concave and convex convex concave means any of the interior angle if it is more than 180 then we can say this figure is concave if all the interior angle are less than 180 then it is a convex now measurement of side based on that regular irregular okay now we'll come to the next point angle sum property like interior angle if you are adding of any of the polygon then always it will be n minus 2 into pi where n is equal to number of side or number of vertices anything either you can say number of side or number of vertices matter will be same because it will if it is triangular three side three vertices quadrilateral four side four vertices Hex, hexagon six side six side six vertices then either you are telling number of vertices or number of side matter is same but total interior angle this will give you total you can say total interior angle will equal to n minus 2 into pi total exterior angle will be always 2 pi that you keep in mind for any convex polygon i'm not telling concave polygon any of the convex polygon if you are taking either hectagon octagon or maybe uh, triangle or maybe quadrilateral or pentagon any figure you are taking total exterior angle will be always 2 pi that is theorem of geometry 
how to understand this theorem geometry is very simple only based on the alternate alternate angle and corresponding angle we will understand all the theorems related to angles interior angle will be n minus 2 pi how we will prove that also will be able to prove very easily now here the just i will tell you this is your triangle right sum of triangle all interior angle just you take here the this angle is given to if just suppose this is your line bc okay another line is this pq these two are parallel pq is parallel to bc if these two are parallel then what will happen this angle angle one and here angle one dash what will happen one will be equal to one dash because if it is parallel then this will become alternate interior angle similarly this angle three here if we can put three dash then three will equal to three dash now this complete angle it will become a one a straight angle means angle one plus angle two plus angle three will be equal to 180 degree now you just replace angle one with angle one dash and angle two just to keep it same angle three you replace with three dash it will become 180 what is this one this is your sum of interior angle of triangle that is angle two angle one dash angle two and angle three if you are adding all three that will be 180 for triangle similar way we will able to prove any of the any of the like uh, rectangle uh, square also or any of the quadrilateral also now exterior angle how to understand exterior angle this this is exterior angle okay this is your exterior angle like just suppose this is your theta and this is your theta all are theta then what we, how much it will be 180 minus theta how many times 3 into 180 minus theta if theta is 60 degree just suppose theta is 60 degree for equilateral triangle then what will happen 3 into 180 minus 60 it will become 120 it is 360 degree what is this is 360 this is 2 pi means sum of exterior angle will be always 2 pi either you are taking in the form of any figure like uh, this square uh, this square also will try this is 90 then this will become 90 90 90 and this is 90 490 will become 2 pi 490 will become 360 that is equal to 2 pi this will be valid for any of the figure any of the figure like if you are taking hexagon and this just extend okay now all exterior angle we will be able to count why it is 120 then this will become 60 how many angles are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 into 60 again it will be 360 means 260 2 pi any of the any polygon any convex polygon sum of total exterior angle is fixed that is always 2 pi sum of interior angle will be always equal to n minus 2 pi like for triangle if it is n equal to 3 it means 3 minus 2 into pi it will become equal to pi that is 180 correct for uh, quadrilateral 4 minus 2 into pi it will become 2 pi and we know for any of the square or any of the like here this is 90 90 90 and 90 this will become again 2 pi equal to 2 pi the same thing we'll try here uh, it is regular polygon it will uh, start with uh, triangle with side 3 quadrilateral pentagon hexagon finally if number of sides are infinite then it will become circle now we will uh, try to understand this one this is your regular hexagon then uh, what will happen this any of the any of this uh, triangle that will become equilateral triangle correct once it is equilateral triangle meaning is this is 60 this is 60 and this is 60 if all are 60 then this is also 60 total will become 120 total will become 120 then some total sum will become 120 into 6 120 into 6 into 720 degree we have seen also here total angle will be here written 720 degree and 720 degree we can say it is a n minus 2 means 6 minus 2 into pi it will become 4 pi 4 pi will become 720 pi equal to 180 180 180 into 4 it will become 720 then based on the same thing we will able to understand why this will become 108 because one it will become 5 minus 4 5 minus 2 into pi okay it will become 3 pi 3 pi means it will become 180 into 3 how much it will be 540 540 degree total then one angle will become 540 divided by 5 because 5 sides are there it will become 108 due to 108 now we'll here try to understand this is 108 then this will remaining will become 72 
then 72 72 72 72 5 times it will come 360 and sum of exterior angle will be fixed that is 360 sum of interior angle and individual interior angle will keep on change this is pentagon then interior angle will become 108 exterior angle will become 72 why reason behind sum of any interior plus exterior will be always equal to pi that is simple thing means you can say it will be a straight angle any interior angle like here 108 then this will be 72 if you are taking like this is x this will become pi minus x correct any of the figure if you will take then sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon it will be always equal to 2 pi here we will able to visualize little better way like a triangle this is your 60 then this will become this will become 120 degree then 120 120 120 2 pi 60 plus 60 plus 60 pi correct here for a quadrilateral 90 90 90 90 2 pi and 2 pi for pentagon 108 into 5 520 and uh, 72 into 5 2 pi here 120 into five, uh, 6 720 this is equal to 4 pi and uh, 60 into 6 that is 2 pi correct now i think it is very crystal clear now this is another representation of uh, this hexagon we have divided in four triangle triangle one triangle two triangle three triangle four then directly we can write sum of sum of the interior angle of one triangle is 180 degree or pi then sum of all four triangle will become four into pi that is 720 another explanation of sum of interior angle of any regular polygon you can just divide in number of triangles and based on the number of triangles we will able to count okay 